What's up you guys and welcome back to another reddit reading video. So today we're gonna be doing a sub that we don't usually cover. I mean we've done maybe like five or six with the robot voice but never with my own. So we're just gonna see how this does. I did buy a brand new mic just to do these commentary videos. Let me just let me just show you guys. This is the mic. It's beautiful, right? Yes, but it's sitting inside a drawer. If I put it on the desk for some reason, it makes this weird like echoey noise. I don't know why. You know, I always gotta have that all oh mic. Yeah, yeah, I have one junky door. What are you gonna do about it? But today we're gonna be doing Ask Reddit. And usually we don't do these, but this one is actually one with a bunch of stories in it. It's about business owners of Reddit. What's the most obnoxious reason an employee quit slash had to be fired over? We had a young IT intern helping with some hardware inventory tasks. It was uncommon for laptops not to make it back to us as projects would hoard them for terminated employees. But one day we noticed his backpack open and a laptop of the model we used sticking out. Sent him to the other side of the building and checked his serial number and yep, it was the one he reported as missing during a recent inventory. Opportunistic theft is one thing, but bringing it back into the office every day, just wow. <laughs> yeah, this guy is stupid. If you're gonna steal, at least don't bring it back to the scene of the crime. Come on, man. I've watched too many cartoons to go back to the scene of the crime. Opportunistic theft made me think of this one real dumb kid. I worked at an electronics store that rhymes with <laughs> blessed high. On her old register system, a kid figured out that you could give discounts to a certain percent based on the item and price without a manager. So he started discounting things for his friends. You're probably thinking, oh, I'd love to have a friend discount a TV for me. Nope, that's not what he'd do. He'd do candy bars, PC games, movies. What he'd do is he'd search for the discounts and our point of sale recorded every change for attempt change to a transaction. So what you'd see is Discount 30% override required. Cancelled. Discount 25% accepted. Discount 25% override required. Cancelled. Discount 20% accepted. Discount 15% accepted. Discount 10% accepted. Discount 10% override required. Cancelled. In the end, he ended up giving people 40 to 70% off whatever it was they were buying, but it was all stupid pity junk. I think the largest discount got around like $30. We still had to fire him. Yeah, this guy is dumb. If he's gonna get fired for doing discounts, I would get myself a 4K OLED LG TV, get myself a whole new PC and monitors and all that good stuff. But then again, he said it was a kid, so he might have been like 16, 17. They probably didn't have money for all that stuff. My dad and I ran a business together cleaning out foreclosed homes for a real estate agency as I was finishing high school. I was a senior so I got out of lunch at the time we could usually get a house done in a half day. Sometimes we'd get some bad ones and we had a few guys I would call to see if they wanted to make a quick hundred bucks for our day's work. On my literal last day of class, my dad picked me up for our usual guys and got one house about 90% of the way done by lunch. He was a pretty normal guy that had never had any trouble with him. The guy we paid to help, my dad went out to the truck and came back into our house with a gun and robbed my dad of his wallet and took his keys and left in our truck. Funny thing is, my dad only had the cash he was about to give him an hour later for finishing up the house. The state police got the guy's number from us and they told him some bogus story about how my dad was being investigated for not paying his workers and if he met with them with the truck, they would get a statement and let him go. Idiot pulls up and gets arrested on the spot. He got eight years in prison. He really, really got eight years in prison for stealing money he was already gonna get an hour later. What, <laughs> what an idiot. I had a subcontractor on my job for a company to try and convenience the client that they should dump me and go with their business and they would undercut me by 10%. Learn this from the client who we asked to find another person to service our contract. My parents got a quote from some plumbing work they needed once from a chain company, Roto-Rooter I think, and they quoted some enormous fee in the high thousands. Then eventually, while one is talking to my mother and the other guy is talking to my father in a different area of the property, they each mentions they run their own side businesses and they could do the work for way less. I still wonder if they knew they were trying to undercut each other as well as trying to undercut their employer. My parents went with someone else. Well, they got, <laughs> they got two idiots at the same time. What the heck? My employee had a corporate card, charged a vacation, purse, fossil watch, takeout, along with overall being miserable to work with. Had laptop stolen within weeks of joining, fired her, and a few days later, a watch catalog from fossil showed up at the office with her name on it. Have active court cases for all the theft. What? Why would she? I don't even understand that. <laughs> Not a business owner, but at a previous job, we had issues with food being stolen from the break room bridge. The company made a big stink about it and it kept happening, so they were very obviously installed security cameras in the break room. Like big freaking cameras in plain sight, pointing at the fridge with our bosses being very direct about, there is a camera, you really want to lose your job over eating someone's sandwich? A few days later, guy gets fired for stealing food, literally on camera, just grabbing people's lunch out of the fridge and eating it. But I don't understand these people, why are, who, you know, this happened to me a few times too. I was I was working at Walmart when I was, uh, I think I was what, 17 or something like that? I was working at Walmart and 
People who just steal food all the time and they put a camera, it was a fake camera in the break room because apparently they couldn't have real cameras in there. I don't know why. Good. There's a freaking break room thief at every job site in America. And I think they should be held down and have gallons of milk of magnesia poured down their throats. Oh my god, if you don't know what that is, I'm pretty sure that's the stuff that makes you poop when you're constipated. That guy had meth diarrhea. <laughs> my dad owned his own business working as a color corrector slash editor. He had this one employee who had been there since day one and ended up becoming similar to an assistant manager. My dad owned the company for 10 plus years and just recently he had to fire the assistant manager because apparently he was telling employees and the customers that my dad hates gays. People who aren't white, his kids, his whole family, that he's a terrible person, etc. Basically driving all business away, pushing my dad's company towards bankruptcy. Turns out he was a narcissist psychopath. My dad's just sad his employee never trusted him enough to go tell him about what this guy would say to them. Yeah, that sucks. To be fair, I probably wouldn't be snitching unless like that was the boss was like actually my friend, but I don't if I went to the boss and I was saying all that stuff, I mean I'm not getting into that. <laughs> I'm not a business owner, but I'm a student manager, aka I don't really have the ability to fire someone, but I had to in this case. This one kid was trouble to say the least, and I asked him to go check the bathroom to make sure there was clean, stock. When he asked about the woman's room, I said just knock and make sure nobody's inside. Apparently he banged on the door and screamed in his deep voice, WHO IN HERE? EVERYBODY GET OUT! He then entered the bathroom where a poor elderly woman was inside the stall, and continued to bang on the stall yelling, GET OUT! He was yelling so loud that I actually heard him and went to investigate. The poor woman was whimpering and calling the police, and he was just kind of person that had no idea how he came across. There was many weird issues but this obviously topped the cake and told him he was done and needed to go home. The poor old lady was so upset that she refused to leave the bathroom and had to call her son for her. Oh that's sad and it's it's hilarious and sad at the same time because like I could just see that happening. Some psycho kid banging on the door and poor old lady. He's probably like oh my god get me out of here. I used to do some consulting work and hired a woman to help me out, mostly clerical stuff and whatnot. I flew down to St. Thomas for a meeting and got a call from Sonatrol at 10.30 p.m. She had keys to my building but I didn't know about the alarm. Basically, she and her boyfriend brought another couple down to have a foursome in one of my offices. I had converted to a bedroom where I could crash if I worked late. So I called her, she answered mid-coitus and acted normal, albeit a little bit tipsy. I talked to her a few mundane details I needed to relate to her anyways and then mentioned to make sure she was only at the office between 7 and 7 since there was a silent alarm that would call me with audio activities in the building. When I got back in town, her keys were sitting on my desk. Don't own a business, but I work on employee claims and lawsuits. I've told this story on here before. A guy filed a discrimination complaint against a company after he got fired for stealing hot dogs from a refrigerator. This warehouse, big company, this was not my location, kept a stock of hot dogs for employee appreciation picnics, usually weekly cookouts. No one knew why they were disappearing, so announcements were made and all employees were asked not to eat the hot dogs and if they wanted some, they could have asked, but couldn't have several packs. That didn't work, so warnings were announced. Finally, a camera was installed in the refrigerator and he got caught red-handed. He was just practically inhaling the hot dog directly from the refrigerator by the packs. He was fired, he filed a discrimination claim on basis of disability due to his weight. I sent him the response with a video of him eating the hot dog. Also, he couldn't prove his weight was a disability under the ADA. And weight is not a protected class, we won that claim. Well, yeah, good thing. I, <laughs> what? You can't weight a disability? Yeah, but you can, that doesn't mean you can steal people's stuff because of your weight. <laughs> I know today's video is actually going to be really, really short compared to other videos that we've done. But I got to take my dog to the vet. <laughs> She's not doing good. She actually got attacked by another dog. And it was really bad. I have a miniature schnauzer. She was attacked and mauled. And it's extremely bad. Her surgery was okay. But her wounds are ripping open now. So, yeah, not to put that sad part in the video. But... Ask Reddit is a place to ask and answer thought-provoking questions. Today our question is, what's something most people thought you were lying about, but it's 100% true? My parents bought me an electric scooter when I was 12 years old that maxed out at like 18 miles per hour. One day I was running around my neighborhood through the park, I lived across the street, and I stopped to get some water. A slightly overweight, physically disabled man rose up with me in an electric chair and kindly asked about my scooter. I tell him how fast it goes and that it maneuvered pretty well. He then proceeds to ask me if I wanted to race him in his wheelchair down the street. Well, being an overly cautious kid, I thought it would be weird and he might be trying to lure me away from public vision so i politely declined and he said i was going to head home for the day to eat lunch the man chuckles reversed away from facing me and kind of gives me the look saying good call he straightened his wheelchair out into the path said something along the lines of no worries have a good day be safe and i cannot exaggerate this enough 
takes off in his electric wheelchair, accelerating to at least 25 to 30 miles per hour, substantially faster than my scooter could have handled, and rides away down the block. My jaw dropped. I laughed the entire ride home. I'll never forget that day. I thought I was going to get kidnapped. Instead, I watched a disabled man in a wheelchair take off like a roadrunner, fading into the sunset, never to be seen again. <laughs> that is so... That, that was probably a really awesome experience. Honestly, as a kid, I was more responsible. I probably would have raced him and lost. True, it does sound unbelievable, but if, it, if that's true, that's hilarious. As a preteen, our computer was on the top floor of the house. I just got done playing Command and & Conquer and was shutting off the computer and my mother was walking up the stairs behind me. She presumed I was looking at porn trying to shut off the computer quick. Banned from the computer for a while. It was moved to the living room and was given a talking to by both parents. I did nothing wrong! This just reminded me of an old boss. In a place I used to work, I was in and out of the office a lot to put things up or to get things. At a certain point, the boss got an online dating profile and embarrassed or something by it. So whenever I walked in, he would minimize the screen to the desktop. So he'd just be staring at the desktop, unmoving. Eventually he got over it and started asking us to come see what we thought of the women. It was an interesting yet fun job. It sounds like working at the office, like the, the friggin' series, the office. My parents grounded me when I was seven for eating a pudding cup and hiding it behind the pantry cabinet. I didn't freaking do it! I feel like sometime in the future, you're going to go back in time, eat the pudding cup, go to throw it into the trash, and it'll end up behind the pantry cabinet. Then you realize that you had done it all along and deserve to be punished. I'm sort of jealous right now. I always do the time machine scenario, but it never gets gilded. And why the heck would you go back in time to eat a pudding cup? God, is this what it feels like to be a hater? Yes, that's exactly what it feels like. <laughs> I got a piece of spaghetti in my eye, permanently damaged my cornea. A raw piece of spaghetti flew into my eye like three years ago and it damaged my eye. Hopefully you've gotten past it now. <laughs> wow, what, a, what a jerk. That kind of sucks. What, a un, what, what an unfortunate event. That's just like my fear of dying in a really silly way and people are just like trying to mourn my death and trying not to giggle at the same time and I'm just like... <sighs> when I was in my first year at school, at the ripe age of like four, my class was going to our local church for an Easter sermon. Every kid was encouraged to get an item for food from their parents for donating for the homeless. I proudly came in with my tin of baked beans, my favorite junk to this day, and put it on the collection table. When it came time to head out to the church, everyone picked up their item to carry along, but all that was left was a tin of peas. As a kid, I freaking hated peas and demanded answers as to where my delicious beans had gone. This one kid, Andrew, was the one holding a tin of beans and I lost my poop. I'm no snitch, but you bet I knocked on that mother effer. Did Miss McDonald give a F? No sir. She told me I must have gotten mixed up. Everyone backed her up because Andrew was popular and a bean thief. Then they called me a liar. It's been 21 years and I'm still pissed about having to carry those stupid peas down the street. Not that it mattered in the slightest because they were going to the same place, but there's a principle involved. My family didn't even eat peas. This reminds me of my first grade end of the year party. I brought this package of freaking awesome cookies, my favorite kind. My teacher said if our snack hadn't been opened by the end of the party, we could take it back home with us. So guess what? No one had touched my cookies. Heck yeah, brother. I was taking my cookies home. But I looked over and this little jerk Nicole was putting my cookies in her backpack. I ran over and told our teacher, but she insisted that Nicole would never steal someone else's cookies. She was the perfect teacher's pet. No one believed me. I had a grudge against her for seriously the rest of the school career. Teacher's pet was my class's valedictorian. And I remember seeing her on stage at graduation thinking, that freaking B. <laughs> God dang, those, those are some deep stories from friggin' four and first grade. I, they remember those in perfect detail. I met Mandy Moore as a kid. She was shopping with her mom at Costco. It was a long time ago when she just started her music career. I told this story in a class and the teacher said, no celebrity shops at Costco. This story is a lie. So I got in trouble and humiliated. Freak you, Mr. Sweeney. Who the heck is Mandy Moore? What the, who in the, I have no clue who that is. My grandfather was a field agent during Cold War and managed to never tell his family. He spoke nine different languages. The day he died, $750,000 appeared in my bank account under my grandmother's name. My father said as a child, when they returned to the country, they never went through customs. He was a pastor of a Baptist church in Tennessee and often claimed to go to Africa on mission. Turns out he was spying on communists. We've since found invitations from President Carter asking him to accept a medal in DC, to which my grandfather declined so he could breach on Sunday. Oh my goodness. <laughs> a spy and a pastor. Well, $750,000. That's nice. No one believes I'm Filipino because the Irish part of me is pale AF. Is the FBI in your username Filipino but Irish? <laughs> well, creative guy. Once my mom bought a bag of honey mustard pretzels and someone in my family ate the whole bag. My parents believed it was me because I loved honey mustard pretzels. But it wasn't me. I didn't even get a little bit. Well, that sucks. That just sounds like some petty drama. <laughs>
In fifth grade, I had to draw a monster for school. I drew a red monster with four arms, shown in profile. The teacher was convinced I had intentionally drawn a penis, then changed it into an arm. They made me draw a new picture. I think I cried about it. Wow, that's terrible. That poor kid. That probably could have been me as a kid because I was so innocent and didn't really know anything like that. <laughs> when I was 13, I got a chipmunk stunk on my trombone while practicing at home. My cat brought a chipmunk in, dropped it at my feet, and it ran up the bell. I've got pictures to prove it and nobody believes them and says they're photoshopped. Chipmunk in my trombone sounds like a metaphor for something, not sure what. <laughs> what a weird story. In jail, we had these homicide victims playing cards. It was a standard deck and each card had a picture of a person who died in an unsolved homicide. One day, me and a couple other inmates had been playing the game of Tonk. One of the guys placed the Queen of Hearts faced up on the table and said, Dang, that bee is ugly. It took me a second, but I realized it was a picture of my mother. I had no idea she was on these cards. Needless to say, no one at that table believed me. <laughs> oh my god, that poor guy's mom. <laughs> he said that bee is ugly. Hold up, I have so many questions. Why were you in jail? How did your mother die? What time is a peacock? Reckless driving, she was hit by a car, 12. Thank you guys again for watching this Ask Reddit video. No idea, but I'm pretty sure this one's gonna be short too. <laughs> Thanks to the guys I had best wishes for my dog. She had her surgery, her extra surgery, where they had to cut off even more skin that died. But they stitched her up. They took her tubes out of her body that, that were like leaking pus and blood, which is disgusting. She's still in a little bit of pain, but she got some pain meds. I'm gonna show you guys what my dog looks like. This is her. Her name is Peanut. This is my other dog, Ponyo. She's a teacup chihuahua. She's like three and a half pounds. <laughs> r slash comedy cemetery is stuff that was intended to be humorous but isn't husband takes his wife to a disco there's a guy in the dance floor giving him loads break dancing moonwalking backflips the works the wife turns to her husband and says see that guy 25 years ago he proposed to me and i turned him down the husband says looks like he's still freaking celebrating <laughs> that's a knee slapper i can't even fake it this is terrible okay this this sounds like comedy from 2007 or 2008. The internet's very early meme days, because this is, that is a very old text bubble. <laughs> and not funny at all, yes. Was intended to be humorous, but isn't, it's correct. I don't care what color your skin is, what size you are, or what your sexual preference is. I hate everyone, F you. Edgy make edge lord right there. Yeah, that, I can confirm that is definitely not funny. I can feel, I can already tell this entire sub is gonna be a cringe fest. Grandson, I'm not long for this world. My gravestone, do not write my name. It's not important. Instead, write what I accomplish in life. As you wish, grandfather. Beat 2048. Greatest achievement known to man. I just had to look that up. It looks like some kind of Sudoku game. It's like you gotta match the numbers. Ugh. I mean, if you play that game, cool, but ugh, whoever made this, is, they did not do a good job. Alexa, when does hunting season start? Honey, that's a trail camera. It premiered on September. Alexa, stop. Oh my god, I can't, I cannot stand when she talks out of nowhere. <laughs> it always freaks me out. A comment said this is boomer humor. <laughs> I like that thing. That's the first funny thing I've ever seen on this sub so far. Not, not the picture, that, that comment. Guy. Hey, I'd like to have some chili. Waitress. I'm sorry, sir. This is a Japanese restaurant. Guy. Stretches his eyes. Hello, I'd like to have some cherry. Ugh. This reeks of a 55 year old man. Being just flat out racist is not a joke. Some people don't understand that. Like yes, race is a hilarious topic, but just being racist for the, you know, for the poops and giggles, that's not that funny actually. My cousin has two deaf parents and just posted, you don't know the struggle until you run out of toilet paper and everyone in your house is deaf. And I'm laughing really hard. <sighs> I mean, I get it. This is like a Tumblr post. Tumblr post was, this post would have been really cool in, you know, like 2010. Tumblr was like, or maybe not 2010, maybe like 2013. And people love these little Tumblr posts that are obviously fake, but they were funny back then. This is, yeah, Cemetery. This meme format has died. The Tumblr posts are not funny. Hey, Tim. Nice top. Thanks, I, I have a name. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> What? For those of you who didn't understand it, top equals who has sex, bottom equals who gets the sex. She complimented Tim on her shirt, alternatively known as the top. So the guy on the right made a joke that plays on words by indicating that he screws Tim as the top in their gay relationship. Ha! Gay! God dang, that was deep, yo. <laughs> that was deep. 
You're the hitman? Yeah. Alright, good. Here's a photo of the target I need dead. I see. This will be a piece of cake. You know, this one's actually the best one I've seen so far. I wouldn't say that it's humorous, but I would say it, it is not in a cemetery. Someone would find this laugh out loud, lol, worthy. Give a man a fish, and he eats for a day. Teach him how to fish, and he can avoid the wife for a whole weekend. <laughs> yep. <sighs> this is oh, this is so cringy. What is that? There's something that's like an old people Facebook or something like that. This is where that belongs. This is something that someone's dad or grandpa would post, and they would find it absolutely hilarious. Oh my god, this camera's amazing. It even has auto zoom. Ugh. I get it. It's just, <laughs> it definitely belongs in Comedy Cemetery. Every one of these is cringe. What is the cringe meter? The cringe meter is high right now. It's at least 90% of the pictures so far. Ugh. Every one of them just gives me shudders. One guy wrote this on Facebook status. Last night, even after having seven drinks, I felt confident to drive, but I acted responsibly and took an Uber. 400 likes, 40 comments, but the best comment was from his best friend. Where did you go in Ubu, bro? Party was in your house. <laughs> I don't know how much longer I can do this. <laughs> I've seen the original picture. That one, I mean, that came out when Uber was first new. So, you know, it was like, ha, you know, audibly exhale out of my nose, you know, but that's not, it's not funny. It, this definitely belongs in a cemetery somewhere. Me, honestly, I'm just so evil, so full of darkness. I feel the souls of the living. I strike fear into the, you sleep with a teddy bear. He's my second in command in the army of darkness. Ugh. Ugh. I felt like there's someone was about to ooh right there. That was cringe. That was cringe. <laughs> I feel like this belonged on Tumblr, actually. You know, no offense to the Tumblr people, but ugh, gosh. This is why bullying still needs to be a thing. This is, we need to bring back bullying. Band together to bring back bullying. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. Don't, you know, don't report me. Me. I'm gonna eat healthy. Me. <laughs> Uh, like this is I okay this is I'm not sure if this belongs in a cemetery this you know this could be a good meme on like a weight loss subreddit or like you know my mom would probably like this my mom and my mother-in-law they would love this <laughs> zombie humans are finger looking good KFC owner you stole my line never mind zombie so you saying humans are finger looking good zombie I'm gonna eat you now KFC owner Want free KFC? Zombie. Okay, I won't eat you anymore. This reeks of a child. A child definitely tried to make, oh gosh, oh, YouTube six months ago. This is, ugh. Someone was, is 11 years old and they want to be a comedian and they're just starting out and you know, you're doing good, buddy. Ugh, just not good enough. <laughs> oh, I clicked on the comment. The first thing it's r slash young people YouTube. On that note, we're going to have to get out of here. I need to go wash all this cringe off of me but first let's rate the subreddit r slash comedy cemetery stuff that was intended to be humorous but isn't for execution and post you get a 9 out of 10 i saw nothing funny i didn't even giggle once i might have laughed at them but i didn't laugh from the jokes oh ah, they hurt actually this needs to be a cringe sub we collect outrageous and dangerous tales told by dimwitted anti-vaxxers on all forms of media. Post Facebook comments, YouTube videos, and GIFs. We are pro-vaccination because we're civilized and not stupid. The name of the game is Sub Review. We have to sort by top by the past week. This has to be a sub I have not scrolled before and we will judge all posts from the community details that were just read. Let's get into it. Missing or vaccinations? We're not vaccinating. You know what is a good business? Teeny tiny baby coffins. You can get them in frog green or fryer engine red. Uh, 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 excuse me? This man was ahead of his time. <laughs> I took myself to get vaccinated now that I'm 18. The struggle of having hashtag anti vax parents. Oh god, it must suck to grow up as a kid with parents that stupid. Sorry if you heard that banging noise. Imagine growing up as a kid and having parents as idiotic as not saving you from the most deadliest diseases that have been on the earth because they don't want you to get some thing that's not catchable yet you can't catch autism that's it. oh god the, we're two posting and this is already getting me riled up <laughs> people that vaccinate their kids are crazy heck no i didn't vaccinate my son are you out of your freaking mind i had a doctor do it oh wow yeah you didn't vaccinate him the doctor did wow this, that caught me off guard <laughs> Went in for another round of shots and took this picture. 
Hashtag vaccine save lives and our hashtag safe and hashtag effective. Protect yourself and your community because hashtag vaccines protect everyone. What do you have against infants? Why do you want them injected with aluminum, a known neurotoxin? A birth, two months, four months, six months, and on and on? It's quite unbecoming to be a proponent of autism. It's quite uncoming to treat autistic people like a problem so you can spread lies. What do you have against people with autism? It's disgusting to use people with a development disorder to fear monger. Oh, dang, you roasted her. Oh my goodness, that was good. Good job, Ethan J. Lindenberg. Er, and Lindenberger. <laughs> Why does everyone say that unvaxxed kids are just gonna drop dead in a second? That is a blatant lie and misinformation. Unvaccinated kids are going to be fine until you they turn 30 or more, and then they're gonna catch chickenpox from some kid that their bodies won't be ready for the virus. So they'll die slowly in a hospital with painful rash, burning up wishes that they were dead. But if they're lucky to survive, they'll have severe disabilities and scars for the rest of their lives. Have fun. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that one. I like this girl. On hilarious anti-vax memes. Well, <laughs> there is a Facebook page for everything. Anti-vax mom abandons movement as all seven of her kids get whooping cough. Yeah, what did you expect? She looks like an anti-vaxxer. You look like an anti-vaxxer. What's your name, Karen? Kids in high school. I just don't understand why I have to take biology and basic science classes. It's not like I'm ever going to use that information in my life. As adults. Vaccines cause autism and the earth is flat! <laughs> Roasted. I don't get the people that hate on science. I just, I don't understand that. If it wasn't for science, you would be living in a dirt hut right now. Wow, there's a r slash do vaccines have autism. Oh, there's one post. No. <laughs> Quite comprehensive. To say the least, mom, he's about to go viral any day now. Woman, you started an Instagram for him? Mom, I didn't vaccinate him. Oh my god. <laughs> What's worse is like those, have you, I don't know if you guys have seen it, I don't know what it, what it's called exactly, but they have like chicken pox parties and stuff like that, and like measles party, where they intentionally give their kid the disease. Like, what kind of sick, like those people need to have their children ripped away from them. And they need to be put in prison. That's attempted murder on your child. That's child abuse. 100 to 200 years ago, people ate organic, unprocessed food and didn't have vaccines and lived to the ripe old age of dying childbirth. <laughs> Good point. Almost all of these are for, you know, vaccines. And I don't, it's not, it's not very many of um, actual posts of people not wanting vaccinations. I do really think that the number of people that don't want to vaccinate their kids is pretty small, but they just... You know, the people who are louder are, are seen more. New York ends religious exemption for vaccinations. Kumono signs bill into law the response to measles outbreak. Yeah, good. This is perfectly fine. Yes, yes, there is freedom of religion, but there's some things that religion should not protect. Just like murder or child abuse. That's why those people still get put in prison. Just like Catholic priests that rape children. They still need to be put in prison, because guess what? Religion can't protect you from everything. There should still be laws that are above those, above everyone's religion, so we can all, you know, be on the same page. <laughs> if we want to beat Karens, we got to speak their language. Red wine and minions. I might not be perfect, but I know that vaccine saves lives. And also red wine. <laughs> wow. There's a Karen that really pissed about this somewhere. I want to start our own charter schools for unvaccinated kids only. I bet we would outperform every public school in the nation. Well, yeah, there'd probably be one kid alive. <laughs> All it takes is for one kid to get sick in there and the whole school is gone. They're going to have to find their fun somewhere else after that. Anti-vax kids as soon as they're born. Any first words? <laughs> Mom's against vaccines. I'm just trying to understand. Why would the government lie about such a thing? Just wondering. Control. Please elaborate. Nah. Oh yes, I bet it. that is backed up by scientific evidence right there. <laughs> I sent my daughter's doc a list of vaccine ingredients. A couple weeks later, they emailed all the patients saying, we will no longer be giving vaccines. Educate! Yeah, I highly doubt that. I extremely highly doubt that. <laughs> I'm vaccine free. If your health feels threatened in my presence, please tell me why the freak you are vaccinated. Hashtag vaccine free. Because a few of us can't handle the vaccine for medical reasons and can't get a life-threatening disease from you. Yeah, you piece of trash. These people are only thinking of themselves. They're not thinking of the masses. They're not thinking of everyone that can get sick. They're thinking, why would I do this? Because me and I and my. The exact thought process of these anti-vax people is me, 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 me. And it's just a shame that people think like that. Did you know left-handed people have a higher chance of finishing their exam on time than people who died from not being vaccinated? <laughs> 
Jesus. <laughs> Fake science led a mom to feed bleach to her autistic sons and police did nothing to stop her. It's articles like this that make it just terrible. Like, you can tell this lady is an idiot by one, not vaccinating her child, and two, feeding her son bleach. Like, I've seen people more and more give their kids bleach to fix autism. What makes you think, I, w I really honestly think, is they don't love their child and they're trying to kill it and have some kind of crazy whacked out excuse for it. It's crazy that the police did nothing to stop her too, because if I went and put bleach in her drink while she was at the bar, I would be put in prison for poisoning. But she can poison her own autistic child? I decided not to vaccinate 20 years ago with my daughter and 16 with my son. Last December, my son was diagnosed with stage 3 chronic kidney disease. Today, I met with his transplant team at CHOP. Guess what? No vaccines equal no transplant. Unreal. The reason is because after the transplant, he won't be able to get certain vaccines. He's unable to get them and he'll have to rely on herd immunity, which is what she's exploiting. The only reason why her children aren't getting the disease is because so many of us has, have vaccinated ourselves and our children. Well, I don't have children, but you know what I mean. Karen Williams. If vaccines are so safe, then why do children cry when they get them? Why do they hurt so much if they're safe and effective? You can say my opinion is wrong, but it's not worth it. I am right. Your children will die if they get vaccinated. Vaccines cause obesity, severe allergic reactions, autism, and or various mental illnesses, instant death in newborns and infants, asthma, autoimmune diseases, muscular decay, homosexuality, erectile dysfunctions, cancerous tumors, and seizures. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> So she thinks none of these things were a thing before vaccines? Like what? She thinks all of these are to cause for vaccines? Nobody was homosexual before? <laughs> this lady is, I gotta, I gotta get out of here. I can't even read this filth any longer. I need, you know, I thought that last sub that you guys suggested was bad. This is the worst sub I have ever seen. This is the worst sub I have ever come across. And I've been on some bad ones. Shout out to r slash incels. <laughs>